even in his last game, only five rebounds. He needs to be more active on the glass. There's no reason why Dennis Clifford should not be averaging double-digit rebounds. Averaging four rebounds a game as Oliver nails the three. Status. And that's a big boost for the Johnnies, considering they only played three players off the bench last night. Pierre! Freshman from Ontario getting his first career start, and he has already scored eight first-half points. Played well yesterday, very confident basketball player. Represented Canada last summer in the U-19 World Championships. And that time he represented Dayton by swatting away that Heckman shot. Dyshawn here just everywhere. Look at that, just using that athletic ability to block that shot. Sanford goes baseline. Look at the good Chris ball movement on the perimeter. And inside, too. That was a clinic. Pierre, baseline. Finds Oliver inside. And that pretty much sums up the way this entire first half went. There's no way that pass should be able to make it through. Somebody from Boston College had to guard the ball. And be College needs to start capitalizing on his offensive ability. Averaging seven per game for the first two games, and Deller with a contested three late in the shot clock. Let Hanlon know right now that the shot clock is dwindling down, that this young man is going to shoot it, and if anything, pressure up on the ball, force him into the double team if you're going to blitz on that screen. The more room you give him to dance with the basketball, you're at the mercy of Kevin Dillon. Heckman is 7 for 10 from the floor this season. Dillard tries to answer. And Archie Miller wants a quick timeout. Sanford to Pierre. He's got 16. When Dayton plays its third and final game of the term on Sunday, you think Dyshawn Pierre will be back in the starting lineup, Jay? <laughs> Most definitely. You know, there's a... He is just absolutely feeling it, and it is an awkward release, but, you know, Dave Chappelle used to have this joke about who's the greatest rapper of all time, Dyshawn, Dyshawn, Dyshawn. I mean, that's what it has been. Dyshawn Pierre is absolutely on fire doing everything. Pierre on the wing, shot clock inside 10. He goes baseline, and of course, he gets two more. Clock, game clock. Oliver on the wing, and the exclamation point. So Dayton bounces back after an opening round loss to Colorado and beats Boston College decisively by 16 points. Colorado will be in the championship game. Who will join them? We'll find out when St. John's takes on Murray State. That game coming up next uh, in about 20 minutes on ESPN3. Once again, our final score is Dayton 87 and Boston College 71. For Jay Williams, I'm Bob Picozzi saying so long from Charleston, South Carolina.